All right, we're making a new deck. Slesnia tokens. Why did I just Google Sl Google Slesnia tokens? Okay, did I just have a stroke? Like, what was happening to my brain there? I just called this Googling, and I also typed in the name of the deck I'm building. Okay, man. All right, here we go. Slesnia tokens. Oh, uh, Slesnia Brokens. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to look at Not Collected, War the Spark only, and we're going to look in the colors of green and white. Why do I not own all of these? Uh, I also want to look at the uh, Planeswalkers of the set that are green and white. Okay. As long as it's your turn, Gideon Black Blade is an indestructible baddie. To one other target creature you control gains your choice of Vigilance, Lifelink, or Indestructible until end of turn. Is this? Yeah, that, I mean, that seems, seems pretty good. You have Hexproof. The Wanderer. Do you know this one? What does this do? I mean, it is six mana right away. You attack with two or more non-Gideon creatures. Yeah, sure. So this is just getting everything huge until in a turn. Gideon, the Osworn, becomes 5-5. Five, five. White Soul, the creature that's still a Planeswalker. Prevent all damage will be dealt to him. Okay. Yeah, he's not that great. Okay. Jang Yangu, Wild Crafter. Hmm. Vivienne, you may cast creature spells as though they had flash. Tie, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. One target creature gains vigilance and reach. All right, n n this, is, this is a ramp in Nissa. Oh, little Arlen. Criminal damage would be dealt to and dealt by target permanent opponent controls. Fairy time reveling. Uh, do we have any? Don't actually see. Well, as long as it's your turn. Yeah, meh. Quatly, Sun's Heart. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Uh oh. Okay, Johnny the Great Hearted is like just so tight. This is so tight. Can we do tokens, Super Friends? Creatures you control have haste. <gasps> oh. I like a Johnny the Great Hearted, man. Life gain with Hwatley and a Johnny. Yeah, Hwatley. Gain life equal to the... Actually, where's the... Because, I mean, a Johnny adversary of Tyrants still going to be good. Hwatley. Yeah, this one. Hmm. This is a Hwatley Warrior Poet, but it's in the wrong colors. Vivian and the Arc Bow. Yeah, that's not good. Um... Oh my god, we got a Riddlick and Shadow. Oh my god, a Riddlick. I apologize. I apologize with great profusosity. Uh, Johnny's. Gain three life with plus plus counter each creature you control. Loyalty counter on each other planeswalker you control. Alright, so how do we. So we, we, want, we want to be wide and beatery. Okay, so let's. What I. Another thing that I really want to do is just look at some of the superlative 
mega mega good cards in these colors. Yeah, wait, where's where's Parhelion? Parhelion two. Flying first strike vigilance. Whenever Parhelion two attacks, create a shitload of angels. Oh, we gotta do a Parhelion deck today. I do not think this fits into a tokens deck. I'm in the mood to just like swing in with some tokeny dudes. Oh man, yes. <laughs> oh, it's eight mana though. Gideon Black Blade is pretty tight, man. All five finale cards are amazing. Let me look up finale. Oh, these ones. Yes. Oh my god, we need to have like a ramp tokens deck. Okay. Holy shit. Finale of Devastation. <gasps> yes. Okay. Okay, what are are there okay, here here's my question for you. Are there good Slesnia token generators? No, that one sucks. Nope. Alright. Now yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. Reward the spark. I'm just gonna look up token. Not a lot, actually. I did put in the correct limiters. Uh, yes, War of the Spark. Oh, this is the one that makes wolves. I know this one. Plain Wide Celebration. Choose four. Let me choose the same mode more than once. Proliferate. So we're putting counters on things. Oh my god, where's 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 our proliferate? Actually, where's our populate? <laughs> Martyr for the cause. Reach for the sky. Pollen break. Whoa, dude. Whoa. <sighs> oh, that card is just very powerful, huh? I don't actually know how many plus plus counters I'm going to have on shit. I mean, Slesnia tokens in this setup looks pretty nice. Okay. I'm convinced. All right, so let me let's put in Legion's Landing. Um we could actually just not exactly be tokens. We could just be... We could just be a deck that beats the shit out of people. I like that a lot. I, li I mean, I just feel... It feels good. It feels good. Um, let's see here. A Johnny's Pride Mate. Absolutely putting in the new ones. Was it Johnny's Last Stand? Oh, this one. I want to do this. I mean, frankly, like, if I just went with, um, Zapper Lang, how many lands are in the usual, uh, 
I think the Pride Mage is, is not good enough. I think it's just strictly weak. Unless I'm actually doing, like, a very rigid aggro deck. Uh, let's see here. Just trying to make sure I have the right number of lands. I want to just see something really fast. Sounds about right. So we put in the sun petal groves. We put in the temple gardens. And then we go down to like 9-4. We put in a bunch of flower and flourishes. And we just mostly do kind of a similar looking deck. You know what I mean? Uh, March of the uh, Multitudes. I think I can get away with putting three in here. I think that seems good. Uh, Amara. Three of these. They're legendary. Uh. Mm. Venerated Loxapals are good. I'm whiffing on the Conclave Tribunals. Probably don't need to run three of each of these. Three of these seems very good. This is like very scary to just like bash like this is ridiculous with a creature like Amara you know what I mean like hoily doily I mean I really like Tristani I mean she she certainly is a bit pricey but I mean she's Tristani so We have a slot for two more. Maybe just tithe takers. Why march over finale? Convoke. Convoke. This is a very cheap spell. Not running four of them because we're actually not generating that many tokens, but we're still generating a good amount of tokens. I mean, my thought is Gideon Blackblade kind of functions like a Conclave Tribunal. Why? Because Gideon Blackblade is indestructible. Also, the creature that Gideon Blackblade is swinging with is indestructible. So I don't have as much of a need to bash through. I don't have as much as a need to clear out. This might be the wrong one to have to, yeah. I'm gonna try something like this. Two March of the Multitudes. Finale for fun. Ooh, Slezzing of Tokens is one of my favorite, though. It's indestructible during your turn. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, update the deck list. <laughs> All right. All right. So this is this is our attempt for a Slesnia tokening. Now we're gut we're gonna we're gonna got it. We need. Listen, look. We need to try to get in Parhelion too. We super duper need Parhelion too, like super duper bad. Also, uh, I'm out of coffee in the house, so I'm gonna maybe run and go get some coffee uh, after a few games. We're gonna keep streaming until seven. It's gonna be all good. A one of 
longer would be very good here. Uh, maybe. Yeah, perfect. This is also superlatively good. Against Mono Red. Right, so we are totally flourishing. Oops, sorry, I mean to punch that mic. Time to flower for some planes. I have a Legion's Landing. Uh, we made the biggest mistake possible, everyone. That's my bad. I'll admit it. We messed up. We make it a mistakey. We actually had a perfect curve out, too. Can't believe we've done this. Treasure map, thank god. Have one, two, three, four mana. Can't do it. Boom. Going in, taking the tithe. Yes. Oh my god, it's Thyric Six. So six. Okay, what are we gonna do next turn? I'm I'm really feeling an a Johnny adversary of Tyrants pretty hard here. Boom. Power Stone Shard. Infinity Stone! Pendulum of Piavins. Alright. I am proud you are capable of more than you assume. This is working out great. Alright, Thrixis 6. Doing something a little dirty, it seems. Thrixis 6 is someone we played against earlier on today. I think Thrixis 6 may have been the one who did the Dreadhorde loss. We definitely lost the Dreadhorde loss on this board. Overlay still can't handle war cards. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's okay to have some Thursday. Oh my god, there's multiple power stones. Power stone shards. All right. Well, look how far you have come. Honor and courage. Turn back while you still can. Oh shit, dude! The Ajani's help each other so much. Oh my god! I'm about to minus seven, my cat dad. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, oh, there's so many beaters. A Johnny, meet a Johnny. Oh, yes. Myself is my friend. Oath of Kaya? It deals 3 damage to any target you gain 3 life. Okay, whenever an opponent attacks a planeswalker you control, it deals 2 damage to that player and you gain 2 life. Okay. Change the legendary rule? Yeah. Yowzas. Uh, zoinks. Alright. the way I will. Alright. Feels good. Be strong. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh that's so good. Alright. Creatures you control have vigilance. Isn't that sick? Creatures you control have vigilance. Look at that, you don't even need to attack. This is so great. It's so great. Oof. 
a little dizzy there for a moment. Oh my god, I love Planeswalkers. I love Planeswalkers. That's such a funny board state. It's like Drixus 6 was just like playing a bunch of artifacts and like drawing a bunch of shit and then we just killed him. It's alright. It's an alright hand. You can play Sapperling Migration. Any land lets us play Venerated Loxapal. Uh, is the new passes for Planeswalkers new to this set? It's cool passive flavor. Yeah, I love the idea of the PSs. Grim Initiate. Oh my god, Tony. First strike when Grim Initiate dies, amass one. Wow, that is... That's like a diagonal monkey right there, man. Hunted Witness. Oh, oh my god. It's like Mardu Aggro. One land. No man. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, a uh, uh, question. Is the deck list not working? Whenever anything dies... Each opponent does anything. Oh shit. I think I have found maybe a need. It's currently running a deck for less than 60. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing what we can. We're doing what we can. We're doing what we can with what we've got. March of the Multitudes is actually like still so sick in this deck. Because the cards that we actually wound up cutting were like Conclave Tribunals for Planeswalkers and Unbreakable Formations for Planeswalkers. So I actually think I'm going to try to figure out a way to get an additional March of the Multitudes in. I'm pretty sure it's going to be to cut a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. Holy fuck. Okay, so we should kill this guy. Because at killing any of these creates more things. So we're going to Johnny to buff the 2-2. Two -two. I, I think that March of the Multitudes is probably the right play here. Pretty easy way to spike up and get a shitload of life. I think March of the Multitudes is actually too good to go down to two with. I think three is a fine number. Four is my favorite number, but uh, three, three seems fine. Three seems fine. We're making some good decks today, man. First one was just bonker decks, man. That was just fantastically bonkers one. I, I think I am a little... A little saddened by our Rawl games. Good. Okay, so let's see what winds up swinging first before we make any decisions. So let's see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. So we would heal for 5. So we'd, we'd go down to 1. But we'd have a really powerful backswing. Three, yeah. So we know we want to at we can throw all five against that. I think that's the play I like the most. This lets us heal the most amount of life. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four. Oh my god, wait, the creature dies. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Alright, so we've miscounted multiple times, so everything's fine. 
The amount of times that we've miscounted has helped us stay alive again. So that's fantastic news. You should be proud to have come to see in yourself what I see in you. Oh yeah. Wow, life gain is just the most relevant, isn't it? Woo! Boy, life gain is so relevant. It is the relevantest. Gideon Black, Black Blade is not particularly useful for us in the aggro matchups. Think we just died? No, no, no. We, 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 uh, we are far from dead because this is healing 2, 4, 6, 7. So we have, we're at 9 health. It's very difficult for Wonder Melody's VIP to kill us. So this just deals one damage to me. It doesn't deal one damage to anything. Holy shit, that's insane. Teach you humility. Light shall always conquer darkness. Wow. Strength is born of struggle. I don't think I need to attack here, man. Unless Wonder Melodies has a. Uh... Correct burn spell. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Ah, fuck. Ooh, ah, ooh, ow, ooh. Don't forget you had Vigilance. Ah, forgot I had Vigilance. Forgot I had Vigilance. Forgot we had Vigilance. Alright. That's really good, though. Like... Um, if we swung and had Vigilance, then we would have just been in totally great shape, so. That's actually really sick, and this deck's way better than I thought it was. The The general reason why I was keeping back is that um, it basically negates any attack, and if our opponent had a um, Heroic Reinforcements, we'd get fucked. So, uh, again, to be clear, uh, if we had swung out without Vigilance, that would have been worse than just chilling. Because chilling allows me to, like, triple a quad block things and heal for a billion. Oh, that's a bad one. Almost amazing. Ah, truly amazing. Alright, Daniel Garcia is just like, Oh, I can't wait to play with no cool decks! And I'm just gonna go History of Banalia, History of Banalia, and he's gonna be like, ah. Oh my god. Couldn't have been a better one. Couldn't have been a better one. See, what's really nice about this is that the other Ajani... Oops, I need to make a change to this deck list. The other Ajani really permits us to go up against Golgari a lot better. So this is this is fantastic. That's fine, that's fine. Bang, bong. Alright, now we have five nerds! Nerds! Yeah. 
Yes! Oh my god, Daniel Garcia is like, well, there's no new cards on that side! And then let me tell you, if we just peel a Johnny off the top, then like... <gasps> it'll be awesome. No fine finality for you, Daniel... Daniel Garcia. Oh, what kind of take? Elephant Man? You got it. God, I'm gonna be the widest, the widest person. This is so good. This is so good. This is so good. Double block. <gasps> Double chump. Oh no, my... Oh shit. Alright, well, pass the turn then. That's a finality. That's a finality. Oh my god, trick Jarrett. The legend of the Cyclops. forever defined by that game. That's true trick. 20 years, you're gonna be trying to change careers, and it's gonna be like, uh-huh, I remember trick, yeah, he was the guy who only I tries one with Cyclops. So already. I won't lose more. You know what? X equals one. Balance oh. comes. Balance in all things. You know, I gotta admit, I... You know, it's pretty sick to, uh... Ah, a Hydrosis Crazy Boy. Uh, if we peel in a Johnny off the top... Never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. Honor and courage. Turn back while you still can. Yeah. There's my new card. The best part is we had Vigilance. We've leveled up. Okay. Alright. Let's... Okay, we gotta... So I think I want to go minus one of these, plus one of these. I think we got a real deck. I think we got a real deck. Mara has kind of bad synergy with Nua Johnny. A uh, little bit, but has really great synergy with Gideon, because you give Amara indestructible and swing with her. Ziggy Zig says, oof, did I sub to the gun show? Ooh. Ooh, Ziggy Zig, yeah, that's right. I've been doing some compound barbell movements, yeah. Oh yeah, we're hanging on to this one, because we have Gideon Blackblade. Oh man. I'm thinking two, three more games, and we're going to go get coffee. We're going to take a little quick break. Uh, what's the Mastery Tree? The Mastery Tree is for unlocking new Decaronis in the Pepperoni. Oh my god. Tithe Taker absolutely dumpsters these decks. Because it's like so hard for these blue decks to actually have counters up, have thingies up. Vigilance, lifelink, indestructible. Alright, this is not the deck we thought. Okay, that plays actually just so much better. Alright, to token decks are still token decks, okay? They they still do things that token decks do. <laughs> I mean, I know we got some new cards in the deck, but it was still a token deck. Yeah. See, I think a Gideon Blackblade is just such an excellent answer to um, control. Like, you play Gideon Blackblade, 
Marble skull. Marble skulls will roll. Can Gideon convoke Loxodon? Does he get a plus one, plus one counter? You bet. You bet. It stays on him. Oh, yeah. Guju says, how do you access War of the Spark? Thought it comes out on the 25th. It does. But Wizards of the Coast has provided to me access to a god account on Tuesday. As per FCC regulations. Brahelion 2 after the break. Uh, depends on how our Slesnia deck's going. I love Slesnia tokens, man. Let me tell ya. Does that mean you can double proliferate Gideon? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Maybe. Possibly, plausibly. That's a great one. A Johnny the Great Hearted. A Johnny the Whole Hearted. Pick a it. Alright. We now have all, all the mana we need. All of it. Alright, it's called Thuluvit. Alright, since we see that there is... Um, the Black Blue Manas, we're going to play the Tithe Taker. This will help deal with... Negates. Okay. Well, I think I think I actually just chuck this as much as I detest to do it. Oh great. Play a second tide taker to really this forces Call the Cthulhu to either Cry of the Carnarium this turn, which would be fine, because then we would a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. Or... What the hell? Ashiok Dream Render. Spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause their controller to search their library. Target player puts top four cards of their library into their graveyard, then exile each opponent's graveyard. Whoa! Oh my god, wow. This is a more important planeswalker to get down first. It is good to see. deliver us the victory. All right. Well, looks like you we. Uh... Will be haunted. By the way, exiling graveyards is like so good in modern, man. Go on without me. Destroy any number of planeswalkers. Choose a planeswalker. Put any number of planeswalkers on there. I'm, I'm gonna do the greedy play. Because the greedy play is sapling migration and then another minus two on there. Turn one dark ritual into Ashiok. Yeah, yeah. Destroy this. This is gonna come back to light. Yeah, I mean, I'm. J I mean, I'm gonna. Yeah, this is a token deck. God, that's good. Oh, the creatures have vigilance. Everybody, shut up. All right, we gotta ban a lot of people. What is that? Five thousand bans coming in. Ugh. 6,000 bands. Jeez, that's sad. I'm sorry, what? It deals 4 damage to target creature. You gain life equal to the damage. The target player puts the top 4 cards of their library into their graveyard. Amass 4. Okay. Well. Now do you see the benefits of this? You realize... Keep this I one. Minus 2. You were not desperate. Attack! So far, so good. So far, so good. So what? What does this thing do again? Jesus! I like looked at it and freaked out. Enter. Okay, deals four damage to our creature. You gain life equal to our creature dealt this way. Stop. Car four cards library into their graveyard of magic. 
it like wait what With me. can we just talk a little bit about how good this feels Chrono says, Sean, are there any deck restrictions on next week's Monday show? I've got a combo brew I'm working on. Indeed, there is none. Because I got a brand new show in town, baby. And that brand new show is called What the Deck. Works just like Monday Madness, where you submit decks on the Day 9 TV Discord, but this time it's a theme versus a theme. And that theme is Fibblefip versus Niv Mizzet. Fibblefip versus Niv Mizzet. Who is the more powerful legendary? Fibblefip or the brand new five color Niv Mizzet? So, first, if you want to submit a Fibblefip de deck, submit to me a deck that runs four Fibblefip Blasts. If you want to submit to Niv Mizzet, make a deck with three Niv Mizzet Reborns, and every other spell in the deck must be multicolored. What the deck in coordination with Woods of the Coast? You bet your entire butt it is. I don't know if I want to bet my butt. It's my butt. Oh my god. All right, so first things first, we're going to play Tide Taker against the best VIP. Because if the best VIP does yield but a single counter spell, it can't counter Gideon Black, Black Blade. Let's go ahead and run this puppy out. A negate? A negate? A negate? No, 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 Do not negate Gideon Black Blade. But he's so tight. The gods bless us oh, shit. Cause. I forgot to give this thing lifelink. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Your light will cleave the darkness. I guess I'll target non lane permanent. It's pretty tight. Up to one other creature gains vigilance. Ah, so this, so this can be sealed away. Let's attack first. If there's a Settle the Wreckage, then we'll just immediately play a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. Interesting question. Turkey says, dumb question, because Gideon is a creature as well. Fucking what? Not again. Can you put Helm of the Host on him? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I assume the answer is yes, but I don't know what happens when he goes back to becoming a Planeswalker, you know? Guys, these have Vigilance, so I will attack first. I think it just comes off. It falls off? Okay, tight. Well, also, it, it would summon the token. Call me stars in sight. See, there's a cleansing Nova. We're just going to a Johnny adversary. I'd like to get a land. Fucking butts, man. I'm running 25 sources. I don't even believe it. Ugh. 
Alright, the best got us. We're dead. We're D E D dead, man. Yeah, this for any of you've never seen this mastery tree, this is how you unlock cards and decks. Is this war? Yes, this is war. I'm gonna do one more game, then we're gonna take ourselves an eight minute break so I can go and get coffee. Eight minutes to get coffee. All right, it's Schlombat. What a Schlombat. Okay. All right. 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 Sometimes I just like. And compulsively fiddling with this pen for so long that, like, my fingers start getting all tired. My fingers start getting wore out. Where's the good pen? There's this one pen that it just has the perfect weight to it. Yes, yes, yes. This is the pen. This is the one true pen. All right. Blad Crypt. Oh, the Dreadhorde Invasion, huh? Alright, so, voice things voice. We're gonna play a Gideon Black Blade. I'm plus one. Target this. I oh, I love that. There's so many effects going on. Holy shit, that is cool. Ah. Oh. Give this one indestructible. My strength. Oh my god, this is so tight. This is so tight. The amount of improvement of Magic the Gathering Arena is ridiculous. Schlombat is looking to be in a little bit of a Rough position. Oh my god, Gideon Black. Not an issue. Not an issue. And I'm back. What does this do? When it, when it airs the battlefield to mass one? Oh, shit. Hexproof and menace? Oh, what the hell? Gleaming Overseer? Why no plus Gideon? Oh, I thought we did plus Gideon. That was my bad. Yeah, just forgot. It's time to win the way we always win. By going wide, baby. Oh, this is so cool. Get super low and then start healing back with an amassed zombie horde. There's so many zombies in there. Fuck! Wow. I mean, I'm starting to re-appreciate the value of, like, you know... Of, like, Conclave Tribunal.
Oh my god, that's so cool, dude. Schlombat is taking a shit on us, and I'm, like, so happy to experience it. What's the enchantment? It says, whenever a zombie token you control with power 6 or greater attacks, it gains lifelink until end of turn. This is a zombie army token. Oh, dude, and look at this. As the counter number has gone up, more zombies are appearing in the picture. Put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Care to meet my backup? Only I am free of death. Oh. oh. To twenty nine. I mean, I actually don't think we have an answer to this. I think this is the demonstration of why we do need some number of conclave tribunals in the deck. Top three cards, your library in your graveyard, the ones with a zombie. No, I'm not gonna attack. Because this this thing is actually not that good. Holy cow. I were you, I'd just surrender right now. Oh, Nelly, but effective. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got planned for you. Oh, the game lied so hard. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try to get out like a whole bunch of little one ones. Now, Gideon's a good draw. Um, Tristani's a good draw. Sapperling Migration is a fine draw. Seems pretty good. this. Uh, we could plausibly just let Schlombat hit us. I think, I think permitting the hitting. Oh! Oh my god, that card is so fucking good! Oh, shit! One person's trash is another woman's army. Oh my god! Oh my god, I have never been so pleased to have a bulldozer run over me. Wow.